Hello and welcome to DCP Side Quest episode number 140-something. <laughs> what was it? 143. I think, I, I think we should start fresh. Number one, no beard edition. Yeah, you're right. This is this is the first one without beards. First no beard episode business. at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, Erickson shaved, but he's not here. So technically, yeah. no beards. He's not here. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, no beards. No beards. Technically, no beards. <laughs> Briar looking uh, looking dapper with that uh, mustache. I uh, my wife really hates this mustache. Like it is causing actual marital strife. I'm I'm being completely honest. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has got to go right away. <laughs> is it going today? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I basically was holding on to it over the weekend so I could get to this podcast to prove. That I did, in fact, shave just a mustache <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't quite manage it on the podcast on Thursday night. Uh, well, uh, but yeah, you look great, Briar. This is it. It's gone. <laughs> but luckily, the beard is already starting to grow in. It's already kicking back in. Yeah, <laughs> starting yeah. starting to get a little stubbly. Do you look at the mirror and be like, "Oh, <laughs> constantly"? <laughs> Memes does too. She's like, "Who is? Oh, man. <laughs> it's you again." <laughs> yeah. Dramatically different look. <laughs> yeah, my parents and family members are all doing double takes yesterday. Yeah, my kids mm. giggle. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably not good. <laughs> probably not the yeah. look you're going for. Make your children laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, strange, strange sensation. Did you have phantom beard for two days? No, I don't feel any different, to be honest with you. Like, if if I'm not thinking about it, I don't feel any different. You like, I, I was thinking maybe, like, it'd be cooler or, like, you know, I, I you know, I, I haven't eaten any maple syrup yet, so I know that'd be a big difference because that mm. shit gets all up in there. Yeah. It's terrible. Well, I've had times where I was like, oh, I feel like I think I got something in my beard, and I went like this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. Nothing's there. With the oh, no My beard. shirt's getting dirtier when I eat. Because <laughs> 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 I'll just bring my own bib. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had like phantom temperature changes on my face. I'd be like, what is this really? cool and hot sensation that I'm feeling throughout the day? Weird. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, I have. So my morning routine when I'm in the shower is I do a little bit of face soap and I do, you know, my face, yeah. which was like from here to like here, right? A very <laughs> yeah, small yeah, yeah. amount of face. And then I do a, a pump of shampoo and smear it on the head and another pump and do the beard and then I do the head. Yeah. And I've. It's been hard for me to break the habit of doing the pump smear. Pu oh, I don't need that second pump. <laughs> You'd put it in right. the mustache. Yeah, yeah, you got to get the, the mustache. <laughs> you know? well, yeah. That's probably the biggest change to my day. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to exfoliate the follicles also. So, you know, you don't get any oh, like, okay. ingrown type of stuff. Oh, know, how do you do that? You do like a scrub, you know, to you know, yeah. help, help like get it going. Brush? Hey, it's like a, it memes got it for face stuff, and I was like, "Can I use this?" And she's like, "Yeah, yeah, exfoliate away." <laughs> yeah, get after it. <laughs> you got this, bud. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So I'm like, "This is my new routine now." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but, video games though, huh? Yeah, we got a lot video to talk games. about. Yep. <laughs> Shall we start off with how the video game summer started with me? Hoping that, well, wishing that it was instead at night, the summer game fest, so mm -hmm. I could take a Fair. very nice nap. Yeah. Because in fairness, I took two naps during the summer. <laughs> it made me sleepy. <laughs> yeah. I could not stop yawning. God damn, I was bored was out of my kind brain. Kind of boring. <laughs> yeah. So just just to just to underscore real quick, we're gonna cover both yeah. conferences and yes, do it yeah. in order basically. So yeah, yeah. summer games yeah. fest. Summer Game Fest, like, first of all, it was two hours. Yes. It was a lot of long kind of interview-ish kind of stuff too, right? And a lot of the interviews were just like, Jeff, can I just say that I love you? And that was like half the interview. And then the rest was like, game's coming out October. Yeah. I'm like, okay, great. Yeah. I learned a lot. Thank you. Yeah, um, thank God The Rock showed up with an energy drink. To I was so confused about what was happening. <laughs> He's just like, hi, I'm the handsome uncle, man. Here's an energy yeah, drink. Yeah, you are. Okay. Uh, I I'm have in. no shirt on. I'm in the gym. Here's an energy Fuck drink. Yeah, Rock. I'm in a movie. You, do you bro. Here's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, what is going on? Yeah. I don't understand what's happening. And yeah, I, started was, to, left field, right? I started to lose hope 
when the commercials started edging in more. Oh, have you heard of this TV? It's pretty cool. TVs are cool. What about movies? Do you cool. like movies? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like... Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Keighley's like, gotta finance this somehow, guys. Yeah. I was like, this feels <laughs> like a free, lot of fam. filler. <laughs> it feels like we're um, filling. Yeah. For me, though, it started off with the best possible start because it started off with Street Fighter Six. It started off showing right. a brand new character, which we hadn't seen before. Guile yeah. showing some moves. I thought it looked fantastic. Like the moves that Guile was doing on the screen, just you know, it was obviously like classic Guile, right? He's doing, he's got all the same moves, but he's also got like new stuff happening, and he's got like these cool like splatter effects, and like mm -hmm. the impacts of every hit just looks so. Mm, you know, like so meaty. Oh man, it just looks. I can't wait to play this game. Yeah. And seeing Guile again, you know. I walked that away. Was amazing. And then I walked away definitely wanting to play Street Fighter. I was like, yeah, this right? looks fun. And I do want to play fun. this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess they did have, you know, an in person presence where people were mm -hmm. allowed to play Street Fighter 6 at the yeah. conference. <laughs> yeah, what exactly? What, is the... <laughs> what are we calling this? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, at the festival. Uh, I was watching. Yeah, festival. Yeah, I was watching uh, Maximilian Dude uh, talk about it um, quite a bit. I don't know if you guys are familiar. He's a YouTube course, yeah. and streamer, yeah. uh, and he was he was pretty impressed by it. And he had uh, several hours of footage at 4K 60, um, and it looked really nice. He uploaded yeah. like a couple of matches just straight 4K 60 at a pretty high bit rate. And then he had like a commentary where he just talked about like how how the game played for a couple of hours, um, which was pretty interesting. Uh, you know, he knows a lot about fighting games much more than I do, uh, and he, if he's pretty excited about like this early look because the game's still a year away, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's, you know, there's still a lot to change. Um, but it'd be nice if they released. There was like it was like a four player demo, so they only had four characters unlocked in the demo. Um, so it'd be awesome if they like release that as a demo to the public at some point yeah. to just kind of get a, a little taste. Because if it's good, you know, you want to get people hooked. You know, yeah, exactly. Because this yeah. thing is going to be also this thing is going to be packed with microtransactions. <laughs> like you can see it all over the place. Like the costumes at, at the beginning of the match, like the two <laughs> players' faces kind of like face off, and you can hit different buttons to make them like mean mug and stuff at each other or smile and stuff like that. And you know they're going to sell extra like. Oh yeah, you know like yep. expressions, sure. like you know costumes, yep. characters, like everything. But you know it's a fighting game. It's, it's I'm okay with cosmetic make money. stuff. Cosmetics. If you yeah. want to yeah. buy a new outfit, really go too. for it. Yeah, same. Well, so yeah. the, the beginning of like the conference, a like looter fighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the beginning of the of Summer Game Fest really was was not that bad if you're into like certain games right like they had street fighter and then they had uh call of duty they had like the beginning of the campaign for the new call of duty uh yeah. they showed off the callisto protocol which mm. i would have been more hyped for if i hadn't just seen it like two days ago yeah um, yeah <laughs> and i'm a big Freddy cat anyway although the gore <laughs> level of this game might make me check it out like i do love good gore like, they did fun. they did end it with them getting sucked into some kind of turn turn by yeah thingy and getting blended up like juiced yeah <laughs> your morning juice yeah. <laughs> blood juice but the rest of the thing like there were some games that i some games that i'm like oh, you know but depending on when they release maybe i'll check them out mm -hmm. but yeah, so exactly. many of it yeah. i felt like it was you could have just posted this trailer on like twitter and it would have been the same kind of experience there wasn't anything new or groundbreaking that I was seeing from these games that I hadn't already seen from them in their previous trailers. And uh yeah, definitely don't need two hours of it. Yeah, this it felt like long. the the B roll from like a big PlayStation conference, right? It's like the it was all the filler, none of the the killer. <laughs> you know? Like <laughs> was, Yeah. You know, there wasn't that big like you know, like, you know, when you're watching like the big PlayStation conference and they show like, oh, here's God of War 4 and it's like, you know, big and bombastic and this is all the cool shit you can do. And here's five games that are coming out this summer. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Well, we got full trailers for each of those five games in the summer games. Yeah. That's how it felt to me. Yeah. 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 It was, uh, I was, I was so tired that I had to, I was streaming after we watched it. I had to blast very loud music in my ears to wake me up. Because yeah. I was waiting, I was waiting. I was like, usually, yeah, it can be like kind of a, you know, they're not. There's not a ton to show, but there'll be that one thing that's like, yeah. hey, 
big woo, explosion. And it was like, no, it just never happened. I was waiting. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. waiting. I was pretty excited to see Cuphead. Uh, mm -hmm. Cuphead's called? great. Delicious Lats, of course. But yeah, there was just, there's a lot of like uh, expansions to games or. Yep. Like you said, there's a lot of stuff that could have been trailers that they just dropped. Or games that we've known mm -hmm. about for a long time. Yeah. And like he, he, Jeff did say that it's going to be a lot of like um, previously announced games, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it won't be exciting. There's so many games that we've heard about that we just haven't heard much of. Like it's been an announcement yeah. and then nothing's really happened. But it was, <laughs> it was worse than that. I hate the it. The pace I of the presentation, I felt, up. was part of the problem too, right? It's like just the... Yeah. It just took so long. Like the interviews were a bit too long. Like you said, there's a little too much. Of like, thank you, Jeff. You know, you're you're the man. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, like that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I get that you want to express that, but like the audience doesn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, do that backstage. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Uh, I ended up being pretty angry at the end of it. They, uh, they did show the Last of Us it. Part One. <laughs> The oh my god they spent so long talking yes you're remastering it for the 18th time i don't care yeah Good for you that's how i felt too I, they I'm like the i've already played the remaster I'm like, I'm like yeah it looks good it looks good yeah. you don't need to do it at the, at the at like e3 right you don't need to take this is essentially the e3 stage you don't need to take the e3 stage to talk to me again about the tv show right and then the remaster yeah. It just felt like they're milking it so hard. And I get it. It's, you know, it's a big franchise for Sony. But I was like, yeah, okay. Well, this will, this will be Naughty Dog's first game for the new hardware. This is PS5. True. It won't be coming out on PS4. So true, true, to true. me, this is partly like, hey, let's remaster this thing. So it, you know, it, hopefully it plays more Bonnet. Because I don't know if you remember, like, The Last of Us 2 played a lot better than The Last of Us 1. Like, the, oh, they of course, changed yeah. the controls quite a mm -hmm. bit. They changed, like, how the, so it'd be nice if they kind of updated The Last of Us 1 to be more like that, in my opinion. I, I, I'd i like that a lot. I wouldn't mind playing through this game again. I did not play the remaster on PlayStation 4. I played it on the PS3. Um, Like, I, I, this game's getting a lot of hate. I'm actually kind of like, hey, you know, like, considering it's like, hey, let's warm up to the PS5 a little bit. You know, Naughty Dog needs to, like, kind of just get their chops you know, on the PS5, you know, that I, I'm okay with this. Like, I, I'm kind of looking up, up, buy it and play it, probably. I mean, I've, so depending I've, on when it comes out, I've got no <laughs> issue with it. It's just that it was right. in a two hour game, new game conference show, you know, yeah. that, and, that's, and they spent that was my issue with it. About it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I looked at, the, I looked at it and I was like, it looks cool. And they said they're changing gameplay. That probably means they're updating it to feel more like The Last of Us mm -hmm. 2. That's great. Yeah. But I don't need yeah. it to be here. And also, it had been nah. leaked like two days beforehand. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We knew See, I good. didn't know any leaks at all. And I still was so angry at how bored I was. I wasted <laughs> two hours of my life to watch something that I should have could have seen on Twitter. Just I was them. literally watching it live <laughs> and like accidentally fell asleep on the couch. And then I had to go to a photo shoot. So I'm like, well, I'll watch the rest of it later, I guess. I came home from the photo shoot, turned it back on, and I fell asleep again. <laughs> I would have turned it off if I wasn't streaming. Yeah. I um I picked it back up with the uh, watch at two times speed on YouTube, which is nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, you can just like bring it yeah. back to normal when you're interested in something. But yeah, overall, yeah. I mean, I walked away thinking Street Fighter Six looks awesome. <laughs> that yeah. was yeah. basically how I walked away from that conference. Yeah. Oh, and we got a date for Shredder's Revenge, which I'm personally that is good. About. Yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. That's coming out very soon, actually. Right? Like it's this week. In three days. Yeah. 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 And so there's that. At, like Best Buy, so you can just buy it. You don't have to like right. order it from like some weird company on the internet. Yeah, I, I was uh, I was a bit worried after that conference. I was like, oh no, is our summer information experience gonna really suck? I was joking about it sucking, and I was like, <laughs> oh no, it's yeah. becoming a reality. But then we had another conference. Pre yeah, yesterday. How'd you guys feel about that? So we finally got Starfield gameplay. Well, uh, oh, okay. overall, just, how, like, how'd you feel overall? about the conference? I was happy with it. It was like very, I it was very just like one after the other. Mm -hmm. And not only was it one after the other, but it was largely gameplay. Yeah. Like even if they were showing some cinematic stuff, it was largely just one after the other of gameplay of these games. Yep. Um. So I definitely appreciated that. Yeah. I thought minimal. there were some long parts where I was not interested. 
but for like there were many more like highlights for me than there were in the summer game fest. Mm-hmm. Well, there's just a lot more variety uh, in terms of like there was it was it, it was yeah. less time, but had much more stuff in there and for a lot more people to check out. Uh, and also the whole thing about like, OK, these are all things that you're going to be able to play in 12 months. We'll see about that. <laughs> you know, yeah, we'll it delays. That. But um, it seems like everything's on Game Pass. I know some things aren't announced to be on Game Pass because they haven't done the Activision merger, all that stuff. But, I, you know, we're kind of assuming that once that goes through and is official with Microsoft, then those games will be on Game Pass, assumingly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I thought I also it was... Re- I, I just oh, no, want to say I thought it was really interesting to watch uh, a conference and then think like I'll pretty much be able to play all this with my Game Pass subscription. Yeah, uh, pretty nuts. much all of it was day one Game Pass. And yeah. something else they did that was cool is they said that everything that they were showing you'll be able to play within the next twelve months. Yeah, right. so that was cool. So even though right. like they showed Silk Song, uh, which That's everyone is waiting, everyone's waiting for Silk Song. It's going to be day one in Game Pass. They didn't get a release date. They were like day one of nah. Game Pass. We don't know when the day one is, but what day that is. Hopefully, it means we're in, in the, the next, next year. But who fucking really knows? Yeah. Hopefully, in the next <laughs> twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah. 12, yeah, 12 years yes <laughs> probably, is probably felt, more accurate i felt like that about that game because that game's just been like delayed 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 mm-hmm. but yeah. starfield i also felt like what they showed did not look like it was your way to me yeah well <laughs> like, i was like ah you know it's it, cool but <laughs> it let's get into it so starfield they um they it, it seems like a bethesda game <laughs> that's what i oh boy it does. <laughs> well it seems like they took uh no oh, Man's Sky yeah, no made Man's it Sky. about this game. <laughs> there is the memes about No Man's Skyrim everywhere. Well, it is so much. It's like they, they were like, let's take No Man's Sky and curate it for, uh, yeah, a Skyrim yeah. type of a space adventure. Which, um, I mean, that, that definitely interests me, for sure. If you, someone was like, imagine yeah. No Man's Sky, but with a curated <laughs> campaign experience with a lot of exploration, I'd be like, sure, yeah. I'll play that. Yep, you got it. Um, yeah. It looked like that. It doesn't necessarily look like next gen entirely. I mean, some of it does, but a lot of it's kind of like oh, uh, pretty good. Well, the faces were the thing that said, "Oh, this is definitely a Bethesda game." <laughs> the faces, like the yeah. animation and the frame of the faces rate. when they're talking about frame rate. Yeah, oh, that's early rate. That's early, right? It's hard to like bu- bust them on frame rate. Yeah, <laughs> game's still a year away. It's Bethesda. This is gonna that's be true. the frame rate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this game is definitely like I'm not even thinking about playing this on an Xbox. I'm definitely like planning on playing this on a PC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Bethesda. <laughs> Imagine the amazing bugs you could find, right? Things poking through the floor. Um, but it didn't. T- so it looks so much like No Man's Sky, right? It's like you you got that special laser gun for resource collection, yeah. and you're pointing yeah. it at iron. Like, there's so many different things. There's like. But it didn't have the party trick of being able to get in your ship and just fly right mm-hmm. off the planet to another planet. It didn't do that one party trick that was so core to No Man's Sky being as impressive as it was day mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Just kind of disappointing. Like if you're gonna go No Man's Sky, go full No Man's Sky and get that that one party trick. Yeah, uh, I don't. I, was, I don't really mind that. So are gonna be able to fly. Um, yeah, that was cool. That was yeah. making your ship, making like, your base. Yeah, the ships were super like Star Wars, like alien looking, right? Like the whole yeah. aesthetic was pretty like retro sci-fi. Yeah, it's like if they wanted to uh, make I thought a, a pretty decent way too. Yeah, if they wanted to make No Man's Sky a bit more photorealistic, like that's <laughs> felt like that was the yeah. the I mean, it the spec really sheet. it does remind you of No Man's Sky <laughs> though, like in a big way. Uh, yeah, it definitely <laughs> does. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it looks interesting. Um, I'm like I said, I'm definitely yeah. I'm definitely going to play it because uh, I'm I like those type of experiences. Could be slow, you know, could be a slow burn type of type, type of game. But yeah, hey. slow is OK sometimes. Depends. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely play it. Um, I'm just not like yeah. oh, Starfield. Yeah, I, I was I was. Oh, yes. Everything is like looking good to me until so they. They show like the solar system, like all the planets of the solar system. I'm like, oh sweet. And then they're like, and there will be a hundred solar system with over a thousand planets. I'm like, yeah, fuck though. They're all gonna be empty. <laughs> like it's gonna be like randomly generated assets. Yeah. Like I was so hoping, like, oh, like keep it contained to like a galaxy, but that one galaxy is just packed 
full of shit and like you're flying here you're flying there you know like there's all sorts of different stuff going on in every planet you know like that was i was kind of hoping that we'd get like a really like a dense you know what i don't want is to like fly to a planet a la no man's sky and the whole planet is you know like fern gully okay that's not how planets work they have different ecosystems in different parts of the planet you know like <laughs> i feel like we're a bit away from that tech though to like have a fully realized uh, planet yeah with i guess ancient artifacts and stuff like that i think that yeah. might be a bit more than what we're our technology can bite off at the moment for video games but i hear you like i also like, don't want a thousand planets to be just the same copy repeat type of go asset collection type of thing yeah like, yeah like i'm over being excited about the biggest open world we've ever created what i want is the best open world we've ever created mm -hmm. like yeah. elden ring wasn't special because it was huge elden ring was special because it was just jam-packed with all sorts of amazing cool shit to find mm -hmm. you know yeah. like <laughs> yeah so most likely not but what if what if there was what a if? surprising I mean, amount maybe. What, what if they actually hit like a nice balance yeah. between this is interesting to go explore for you you yeah. actually want to explore that would be amazing because yeah, obviously we'll actually what if they put an achievement in there where you have to explore every single planet <laughs> <laughs> ah. that, that sounds very like something they would do <laughs> sounds uh sounds mean <laughs> that's just mean man <laughs> <laughs> uh while you're talking we did see hollow knight silk song this looks like more hollow knight i'm in so mm -hmm. yeah. sign me up mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> good stuff yeah what'd you think of the um the vampire the four player thing redfall yeah redfall well, is it the too tone of that i thought was the most interesting thing about it like how, how different like the it it didn't feel like it was um it felt like it was like a almost like an 80s kind of like we got like young irreverent kids up mm -hmm. against like a real like a real danger almost like a stranger to things but more irreverent and more kind of like punk yeah. i don't know like it, it was i thought it was a fun like just the feel of the everything was just yeah. kind of fun the whole mind thing that they did that uh we don't know specifically what it is but like if that's a dungeon creator type of thing where they like bring in thoughts and you go into this world that's made up of your thoughts and stuff i thought that was actually really cool that could be really fun to see them make some unique uh playing spaces you know yeah i was uh yeah. i i always enjoy the personalities and the the acting in their games like they tend to be full of characters that have really interesting personalities and that mm -hmm. that's how it felt watching the trailer so it's a game again where i i think it looks good and i'll play it if it doesn't release next to something i'm more excited about Agreed. Yeah. You were absolutely right once. Hundred <laughs> percent. And it's on Game Pass, so it's like when it does on happen, I'll be like, "Why not download this and check it out and see if I like it?" Exactly. Yeah. Um, there was that game High on Life. Someone uh, frag mentioned it in. Uh, yeah. Chat. Yes, yeah. the Rick and Morty game. Yeah. At first, yeah. I was like, I don't know about this game, and then the the weapons started talking. I was like, yeah. I want to yeah. play this game. <laughs> yeah, you, it's building on you. Right? I was like. <laughs> <laughs> cool talking to you and then the knife was yes. talking to you and he's stab, like stab 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 stab, stab, stab. <laughs> um if you yeah. if you haven't played trover saves the universe it's got a very similar feel to that it's very much like a, a like a make it fun of video game conventions as well nice um and it's made by the record Mor morty guy uh it, it's got a play trover uh saves the universe that's available yeah. on vr as well you oh, can play nice. it in vr yeah i was it surprised like Why? a lot of fun after watching that, I was like, oh, I want to play this game. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play that. Yeah. 100%. Uh, we got two Forza Motorsports announcements. One is Forza Motorsport 5 uh, coming out uh, next year. How excited uh, which are you, Briar? looked nice. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of racing lately. Like, I'm not, like, on the lookout for my next racing game. I'm you, pretty happy with what I got, to be honest with you. You're a yeah, satisfied, pretty satisfied racing, racing wise Between Gran Turismo and uh, Forza Motorsport 5. Like, I'm feeling pretty good, but I was very intrigued by the other Forza, uh, the Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels announcement. Mm. I played the shit out of Forza Horizon 4 Lego. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely going to check out the Hot Wheels uh, yeah. expansion for Forza Horizon 5. It did look fun. Be just stupid fun, you know? Yeah. 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 What, uh, what, what else was there next on the... The order. I don't have the list in front of me. 
Uh, what did we have? Oh, Flight Simulator uh, 40th Anniversary. Getting a uh, Halo ship? Yeah, it's getting a Halo Pelican yeah. and helicopters and gliders and some new planes. My brother is going to be very excited about this. He has literally converted a section in his house dedicated to Flight Simulator. Where he's got, I can respect a that. A giant screen. He's got the the control sticks, <laughs> yeah. like the chair and oh, everything. Nice. And he's like, this. you should get him a Master Chief helmet, <laughs> so mm -hmm. he can fully <laughs> embrace like he's, the Pelican. <laughs> he's all about the full realism. He's like, yeah, yeah. he wants yeah. to learn all the buttons and stuff on every. It's, it's pretty That's interesting awesome. seeing him deep dive into it. So. That's a man I want to fly with. Like you know, just in case. Yeah, he's like eat some bad fish a la airplane. <laughs> we got a pilot sitting right here. I got a thousand hours in flight simulator fortieth anniversary. I'm ready to go. I have you're more, you're, you got you got more idea about what's going on than I do. So you know, sure, right? go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's it's been uh, fun seeing him dig so deep into it. I mean, like, yeah, I want yeah, all these cool. details and all this realism and wow. So, yeah. It's fun to go down that path. You can spend a lot of money on that path too, especially with the yes. flight sim stuff, because those <laughs> those flight yokes and stuff get pretty expensive pretty quick. Yep. Um, but man, you can re you can really you can learn how to fly a plane doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super real, or it, as real as they can make it. Yeah. Uh, was there anything else you guys were excited about from this concept conference? Oh, I have a huge list. Okay, let's see. Um, so Flintlock, the Siege of Dawn, mm -hmm. that looks really interesting. Um, it's by the creators of is it Ashen? Is that the name of that game? But that was kind of like a kind of like an open world souls like type of game. Mm -hmm. Um, but okay. Flintlock Flintlock looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Just the the you had like your little pet and you were flying around everywhere and then the combat looked pretty interesting with um, aerial combat and using a pistol as well as a, a melee weapon. Um, so yeah, flint flintlock looked pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Definitely keeping my eye on that. Yeah, same. I'm I'm interested. I yeah. want to know more. Yeah. Uh, there was the last case of Benedict Fox, which looked super cool. It's mm -hmm. got like this Lovecraftian side scrolling thing and the, the animations are just just clean, clean yeah. animations. Um, that game visually oh, yeah. looked this really look cool. Good. Yeah, yeah that's that side, game visually looks side great. Scroller cool. thing. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, yeah, like anytime the visuals, side scroller thing. Yeah. Anytime the visuals are hitting that type of mark, I'm like, yeah, I, I definitely want to play those. I want to see how yeah, it feels. I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I got some graphics horror in me. I'll check this out just for the visuals. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was my my most excited that I was was about Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Yes. This, yeah, this is cool. Team Ninja's new game. Uh, it is being and the producers that are involved in the game are from Neo and Bloodborne. Oh, so, okay. Um, I didn't know that. Mm hmm. So uh, it's it's so this is taking place in China. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Neo in China. But that's why I like Team Ninja games, because they made like Final Fantasy, which is Neo, but in Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. And this is probably just going to be Neo in China. And with the Bloodborne producer. Yeah, with the Bloodborne producer, do you think that's going to shift it to be a bit more, let's say, curated per experience? You know, I like don't know. The, that's what I would hope, because like the only thing that I have a problem with on the Neo games is the the repetition of enemies that happens as they, you know, like as you get better and you see this the same yokai kind of show up and you fight him a certain way. Um, so if there was a, a bit, if they if they like took that experience, but further curated as you go through the the campaign, like I, I could see that being an amazing. It's going to be fun regardless, but that's that's my only ah. criticism of that stuff. And it's coming out early 2023, so it's... Oh, so it'll be in competition with 15 other blockbuster titles. Early 2023, yes. I don't know. Most <laughs> things I saw was like, what, later this year? October? October, December? I think uh, God of War got delayed to early 2023. Zelda, yeah, I'd rather early play well on than God of War. Uh, um, <laughs> was Star Starfield got delayed to late 2023, right? That's not 12 months. Everything was playable in 12 months, Briar. Come on. 
<laughs> um, for a bit more info on what Wolong will be, it says that it follows the dramatic action-packed story of a nameless militia soldier fighting for survival in a dark fantasy version of the later Han dynasty where demons plague the three kingdoms. It's Neo it's in China! Neo. Neo in China, <laughs> yeah. They're like, there's demons, but in China! <laughs> 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 um, it, they also gave a little bit more detail on how the game might play, where it says players fight off deadly creatures and enemy soldiers using swordplay based on Chinese martial arts, attempting to overcome the odds by awakening the true power from within. So, yes, it's going to be Neo and China. Neo Ooh. and China, yeah. Neo and China. I dig it. How are you? And it was announced on Xbox thing. So, wait, did they say Game Pass for that? I don't remember, actually. Maybe not. Then maybe that isn't one. I could be wrong, though. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Yep. Play it. Play it day one with Game Pass. Oh, there you go, nice. Good god, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Game Pass. Yep. Cool. Yeah. They are uh, really uh, pushing a strong value proposition for that Game Pass over the next year, but they. Unfortunately, they don't have one for the rest of this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it kind of seems like the nature of things at the moment. A little bit of a love. Um, Fragadin is asking about thoughts on Ravenlock. And I did add Ravenlock to my list of games that I am interested in. Mm -hmm. It seemed like visually it was really cool. It shows the character like going up to a mirror and kind of getting sucked into the mirror. And all of the environments are really like fantastical and colorful um yeah it looked fun to me mm -hmm. combat looks fun you're finding like this uh mush three-headed mushroom spore guy and then spore, spore bro just, yeah visually <laughs> visually it was super cool like the colors that they were using and the the type of monsters that they have looked really interesting so yeah, it's got a real good look to it yeah i'm mm -hmm. to i'm totally down for ravenlock i added it to my list yeah yep looks good uh, it'll of? be available day one on Game Pass. Day one on Game Pass. Day one, wow. Yeah, day one on Game Pass. What'd you day think of uh, Vin Diesel being an Arc Two? <laughs> so silly. Yeah, this. I think I was like <laughs> the same reaction to the Rock telling me about yeah. an energy drink. I was like, sure, yeah. Good. Is this go supposed to make me interested in Arc Two more? Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> uh, it's I not don't... working. If it is supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> When you're, uh, Briar, yeah. Briar, did you play Echo Generation? Echo Generation? No, that doesn't sound familiar. Okay, I, I did. did. I did. You did. They are the so Ravenlock are the people that made Echo Generation. Yes, I yeah, yeah. I yeah. Echo Generation was a super fun indie feeling game that like I don't know you just if you just get lost in it and not have the the preconceived notions of what you think modern games should be like just experience like a retro game made in modern terms it uh, i thought the echo generation was fantastic so i'm definitely be down to check out more yeah ravenlock seems cool mm -hmm. yep that was one of those ah, games where overwatch I just, uh, 2 sounds looks awful like it really like i couldn't even tell that was overwatch 2 it looked like overwatch and then i was I like mean, it who are all these characters and why should i care like you're just ripping off mad max here <laughs> yeah i like maybe i'm just Sour on Blizzard right now, <laughs> Activision so Blizzard. So <laughs> that's the thing. I definitely am, and I am at the point. I think it's going to be a while, whether this is right or not. I just can't really help how my brain or my body feels about Activision Blizzard. But I cannot get excited about anything that they show me. I can see something and go, "Yeah, that looks pretty good." But every from when I hear that someone took their own life because of what happened in their workplace. I just can't. Like, I can't get past that. I know that there's lots of great people who have made these games, but structurally, they haven't done anything. <laughs> they ha If anything, they fought against all the good that people have been trying to do to make things better. And until they make some serious changes, like anything, anytime Blizzard comes on the screen, I'm like, next. I don't even care to look mm -hmm. at it. Yeah, I feel like in that. Overwatch 2 especially, because I do not <laughs> care. Overwatch. Overwatch 2 at I all. liked Overwatch when it came out. I'll be honest with you. I, I was actually too. watching the Overwatch League. I thought they they set, had set that up in such a way that was really interesting. Where they, instead of having like um, just like kind of randomly named teams, they set the teams up like um a sports league where they were yeah they were 
like according did, to like yeah. a city. So you had like a regional Overwatch yep. team. Um, unfortunately, the game just kind of like I don't know, just didn't progress the way it needed to to kind of keep excitement up in that in that in the way. Well, it's that, a pretty fierce market or space to try to capture, you know, and they. They it felt like they were doing it for a bit, but then it definitely has fallen off. And this idea of Overwatch Two coming out and basically looking like the same game, but like basically could have been a seasonal update. I think that's another yeah. thing that makes makes people go, uh, "You're not fooling us. This looks like Overwatch." <laughs> yeah, yeah, like something that gets the two mark needs to be um, really like a, a landmark change. You know, that's part of the problem that Destiny had when it went from one to two. It's like it wasn't really as big of a landmark change. And people were like, you could have just brought this stuff over and continued the yeah. whole experience. And like, I think that's what's going to happen with Overwatch 2. People are going to be like, uh, why is this a two? You know. Um, but yeah, that's fair. But like I said, I, I don't really care about Overwatch at this point. <laughs> so I don't I'm like peripherally aware of it. Yeah. Something that yeah. I have cared about in the past and do a little bit still, but it's basically been destroyed with Diablo Immortal is the next Diablo mm -hmm. uh, um, installation. And like, it's so tough because what they're showing me is basically everything that I want in a Diablo. But I know how terrible the company is and I know how Immortal, they said they they got like 10 million installations on Immortal. And I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. this, this ain't going anywhere. They are clearly going to yeah. dig in deeper, dig the fang further into the husk of the souls that they're sucking and continue to extract monetary value out of that stuff. So um, it looks, man, it looks, it's like dark and gritty. So it's like a, a call back, call back to like Diablo 2 type of art style, you know? And like, um, I mean, Path of Exile has been that way for a while. So it's kind of like that, but with, how they're doing this open world type of thing. Like the open world looks cool and open world bosses, you know, I'm like, yeah, I freaking I'm like, want wow, that. They're describing lost Ark. Nice. Sure. Yeah. But <laughs> like as someone who's been a fan of Diablo style gameplay, like that sounds awesome. I really like that. And they, they have public events just like, you know, destiny, <laughs> something shows up at a public event doing that. Yeah. So all these things I really like, I like the look of it and I like the, uh, like what they're talking about, man, terrible company and it is heartbreaking it's heartbreaking right yeah i mean diablo 2 is one of those games where like friends would call me and say you want to go out and i'd be like nah <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm playing diablo 2 you know like i, I loved it that much yeah um so but, they yeah they, like, they also didn't mention anything about microtransactions in there but uh you know it's gonna be in there the question I is, it paid Blizzard has led the way on microtransactions, right? They've, mm -hmm. They're blazing their, the trail. There was um, a developer for Diablo um, that responded to Gathalian said, because Gathalian said, I'm excited to not have mobile style monetization and cross plays great. And uh, this guy responded saying, Diablo 4 is coming out as a full price game built strictly for PC console audiences. The game is huge and there will be tons of content after launch for all players. Paid content is built around optional cosmetic items and eventually full expansions. Ugh. So. That, gets, that, that gets shitty for a game like this because the whole thing is I want to like, I want to find like a piece of shoulder armor in Diablo and put it on my character. And like, not only does it have a better stats, but it also makes me look cool. But if, if I only get the stats and I got to go to the store to make myself look cool, that definitely ruins some of the fun for me. Uh, well, I mean, okay. So my response to that specific tweet for how the game is going to be is that sounds ideal. Actually, that sounds like how it should be. It's going to be cosmetics and they're going to build the game around a, a full price title to get you going in there. Uh, in this, instead of this whole Diablo immortal, immoral type of crap where you got to spend, you know, mortgage a house to be able to get one character leveled up to max gear, some crap like that. Th that's exactly what I want to hear. But again, it's Blizzard and terrible company. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want, I don't want microtransactions for, for uh, cosmetics in a game where like the game, the goal is for me to like collect shit. Like, uh, I don't know. I, just, I don't care about that as much for me personally. Cause like if the, 
if the weapons and the armor and all that stuff get me good stats and I'm feeling that like they're they're usually looking cool and it's like destiny at this point it's like okay do I want my exotic yeah, I don't gun? like getting destiny either <laughs> I know but I've I feel like I've come to terms with it you know like it's not going anywhere yeah. that's that's gonna happen I'd much rather them stick to cosmetics than if influencing the actual gameplay with microtransactions which is what Diablo Immortal oh, is doing yeah so anyways, that sucks, I am. Right? <laughs> I got to play a game. Yeah. Um, Cult of Lamb released a demo. Oh my god! Mm. I want to play this so bad. I the highly demo, is recommend. The demo on Steam? Where do I get the demo? On, it's on Steam. Uh, okay. And you can download it, and man, you can even replay the demo, and you get to have a different experience playing through the demo. That's cool. And I, of course, have been looking forward to the game because lambs, haha. But <laughs> but playing it, I was like, I need this game immediately. They have struck a really interesting balance of roguelike and combat and like management. Because uh, the whole so the whole point of this game is that you go and you go and collect resources and you fight enemies and you fight bosses and you get more like better weapons, better stuff. And you find cult followers like you're saving people and you're bringing them back to your cult. And then you can have them mine stuff for you, forage, build things, uh, just the normal kind of um management stuff and then you you can build a whole base and there's decorations there's buildings there's, there's everything and you kind of build up your cult to have this massive cult town and then you go off and you go and kill some dudes <laughs> that sounds wonderful. and the animations are so good like when lamb is hitting people with the sword he's doing different animations for each swing and it's just it's something really special it's a nice. really very very good animated beautiful game and it's dark and cute you go from like yeah stab kill him kill him and then there's a follower and you're like oh i gotta go save the little cute baby <laughs> so it's it's a uh, it's a really really interesting mix i Is this love game out the demo officially no it's coming no. out august 11th so pretty soon we'll have stray in july oh, and then we'll have cult of lamb in august awesome All and right. oh the music is good yeah the music is a banger too I might play that. This on game, my it Steam really deck. hits like a its own its own kind of tone, and like it's yeah. just got its own thing going on. And it's just boy, I can't wait for this to yeah. come out. I'm definitely gonna download this demo. And combat nice. feels great. Nice. Like it just That's good news. Feels really good. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Check uh, out the demo. Let's see. And in, in terms of uh, oh, you know the Minecraft Legends actually, I actually thought that looked cool. <laughs> I like the dungeons. Yeah. I thought that was it's, fun, but I didn't stick with it. Yeah. Minecraft Legends no. seems to be like the next step towards that direction of taking that whole sandbox and making uh, curated experiences, which I'm up for. I'll check it out. I'll download that. Play it. Yeah. yeah see I'll if I like it. it. <laughs> Free on Game Pass? Yeah. Big one on Game Pass? Exactly. Right. Oh, it doesn't say that, actually. I'm pretty sure it is. No, it says coming on day one on Game Pass, yeah. It does? Okay. Yeah, day one, Xbox Game Pass, and PC Game Pass. You know, that's what's okay. crazy is a lot of these are PC as well. PC they Game are. Pass, yeah. day one, you know, so. Really cool. I'll be honest with you. I very rarely use my Xbox because I do have a, I have a PC, like a gaming PC up here in the office and a gaming PC down in my living room. Mm -hmm. And I very rarely turn on my Xbox. I usually will use the Game Pass on uh, PC if, it's, if the game is available. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been using the Series X quite a bit. It, actually, if it's on Game Pass, I use it. I load it up on Series X and play it on TV. It's been nice. Yeah. But I am finally getting a Steam Deck. Mm. I got my email. I, don't wanna, I gotta go. I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, it um. finally came. Uh, <laughs> or the email finally landed uh, last week. I made the made the purchase. Now I'm waiting for it to show up so I can fondle it. How long is the shipping on it? I don't know. It didn't tell me. It's pretty fast. Really? Yeah. Maybe like a yeah. week. It didn't give you like a shipping number or something? Like a I don't think number? so. Maybe it did. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I passed out after I ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> from the price or from the shock of actually getting the email? <laughs> the shock of getting the email. I already knew the price was going to be bad <laughs> yeah. for me, you know, but... Since I got the the what uh, is the, the price of it? I forgot actually. Is six fifty. If you get the top tier model, six fifty plus yeah. tax. Yep. Do they charge shipping on top of that? 
I don't think so. I think it was just tax. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's a bit expensive for a handheld console. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's the most expensive version of it. Like, yeah, you can you can get away with what is it? The, what is the minimum you could spend? Is it 400? 400. 300? Yeah. I think it's 400. 400. For the, the bottom which one, is yeah. honestly probably the smart way to do it's not the way me or tefty did it i don't watch you got the medium one right i did yeah yeah so but probably to get this the yeah. cheapest one is probably the smart bet because a year from now when they announce steam deck 2 with all the improvements you're gonna want that one too <laughs> steve yeah <laughs> with it yeah um are I'm you excited, excited? like you i bet you're excited i've been extremely excited <laughs> I'm so i want jealous. <laughs> i'm like i want to have my steam library or at least most of it or whatever accessible on yeah. this device and be able to actually um monster hunter rise i really want to play that mm. play through it on, yep. the, on the steam deck yep yeah because that's Perfect. at the end of the month right that expansion yep june 30th yep yeah yeah Getting close. Uh, i played uh um silk song what was hmm. the name of silk song the full name Why am I so dumb? You know, <laughs> the beard that you lost all of the IQ with the beard. <laughs> oh, it hollow, it's, it's hollow, hollow Knight. Thank you. I played all of Hollow Knight on the Switch. <laughs> I'm planning on playing that on the Steam Deck when it comes out. Um, I would also like to play some Elden Ring. I'd, I, I'm planning on doing like a second run through of Elden Ring, and I'd like to be able to do that on the Steam Deck. Yeah. Um, or, or parts of it on the Steam Deck anyway, like the grindy bits. Um, also, Street Fighter Five and Six. I'd love to be able to play those on Steam Deck because I actually play a lot of Street Fighter on my Switch. I have, you know, the the collections on my Switch. Yeah. Um, but you can't play Street Fighter Five or Street Fighter Six, obviously, on Switch. So it'd be nice to play that. Right. I'm really looking forward to it. Same. I have yet to get the email. I am not. I have not been <laughs> so lucky. I'm actually going to look at my email right now. <laughs> you better double check it. Yeah, you're losing hope now, yeah. right? Remember, it is right? still the second quarter, Briar. Still is. Till still is. So. That's math. Of July. It's the thirteenth. Yeah, geez. <laughs> Should be the fourth quarter by now. Come on. Uh, anything else from the Xbox Bethesda conference? I think that was kind of it. I mean, it is worth noting that Scorn finally got mm -hmm. <laughs> shown again. This game has been uh, it's, we've heard about it a long time ago, mm -hmm. um, and it finally got some more news about Scorn. And it's just it's a it's a game where the I think I'd want to play it just for the environments alone. Um, yeah. it's super interesting, but it's a horror game. Yep. So, is that the one that looks it. like like H.R. Geiger type of? Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually of, yeah. it's inspired by the visual art oh of them. okay and yep. also zidslavikinski what yeah so it's uh, the game is inspired by the works of them so all Got of it. the areas that you'll see it's like the biopunk survival horror stuff is uh that's that's the game yeah it definitely looked creepy i i would mm -hmm. again it's one of these things where i'm definitely going to check it out when it drops and supposedly in the next 12 months right it's going to be dropped. yeah yeah no <laughs> Apparently, did it say December 10th? Did it get a release date? Oh, an actual day. Oh, December 10th. That's late in the year. Or October? It's October. Oh, nice. October. Oh, for a spooky. So a game that's actually coming out this year? I didn't yeah, think yeah that October. A spooky and, you game. Know, on, <laughs> a spooky game. October. In October, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, cause I have everyone... real concerns about the end of this year. Like, what is the end of this year going to look like as far as releases go? What was it's coming scary. out in December? Oh, Callista Protocol is in December. Yeah. Yeah. It's like being on a game diet. You know, you just got to be real yeah. happy with your morsels that you get. <laughs> <laughs> the or games play. I'm most excited about are actually like a collection of fighting games that's coming out, I don't know, next month or this month. And then Shredder's Revenge, which is coming out in a few days. And yeah. then I'm like looking at a blank slate <laughs> till like next Stray. year. <laughs> I'm excited about Stray, man. I want to be Stray. a cat Stray, in the cyberpunk world. Land. I respect that you're excited about it. I'm just not. Sorry. <laughs> you don't want to play a beautifully crafted world where you're like just checking things out as the cyber kitty? I'm glad that you guys are excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Cocoon from Annapurna. They, they, Cocoon, uh, yeah. I, anything Annapurna talks about you know releases i'm generally interested in because they they've uh, made a name for curating uh kind of like the 
the the hip side of interesting gaming titles. <laughs> you yeah, know? that's true. Yeah, hipster publishers, which I'm all about. Yeah. Uh, it's also worth noting that today is the beginning of a Steam Next Fest, which mm. is a much better time to have a Steam Next Fest than when Elden Ring releases. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, these are normally really cool. It's if you guys don't know what it is, it's usually where a bunch of games just put out demos so you can just go and play through a ton of demos. Um, and normally well, there's some really cool stuff in there. Yeah. Last year you checked out like a whole bunch of them and you found some real gems, yeah. right? Yeah, Real there's gems. a few that I want to check out this year. There's a uh, Ghost Song, which is like a 2D side scroller, but the art is super interesting. And you shoot, it's not like a melee one. Um, and then there's one called, oh, what is it called? Soul? Something Soul. But that all the art is just beautiful. So yeah. I'm going to check out a bunch of demos. I'll have a time this week where I just play a bunch. That is awesome. I look forward it's really fun. to hearing your feedback on which games are awesome. Yeah. I look forward <laughs> to you telling us which ones we should play. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Hey, last year. I got a question for you guys before we go. Mm -hmm. Do you think anybody, you don't know, remember at like, the beginning of this year was like hit after hit after hit, like for four months, right? All just I remember. Banger after banger after banger. I just remember Elden Ring. Just. You only remember Elden Ring. I mean, I'm it was blinded. like there were so many great games that came out uh, in the first four months of the year. Yeah, it was like it was just yeah. an embarrassment of riches. You think any of those developers are like, damn, I wish we just kind of waited six months because there's just nothing coming out. <laughs> Dude, if Horizon Forbidden West came out basically now. Yeah. That would have been perfect. Jump in, yeah, or or that Final Fantasy game, or any of those games, right? Any of those games that didn't, yeah, they're just kind of like Elden Ring adjacent. But yeah, I'd be, a, I, I still got to jump into Horizon Zero Dawn, but fucking Elden Ring just ruined me on open world games now. It's like yeah. I don't even want to look at another open world game right now. I'm starting to get my sense back. the The feeling is coming yeah. back to my limbs <laughs> from the <laughs> from the shock of Elden Ring. So, uh, yeah, as long as I don't play Elden Ring. You know, I haven't booted up, haven't played it. There's been like patches and stuff, and they've changed yeah. things. Haven't touched it. You know. Also, oh yeah, wasn't there a rumor about DLC happening for Elden Ring? And then it, it basically not, was anything? confirmed. Oh, did oh, it get confirmed? It Do we know? We we have no information on no that. No idea. It was just oh, well. um, they said it was during like an earnings call or whatever, and they said, uh, well, obviously we're making DLC. <laughs> Yeah, oh, so obviously. the game's successful, huh? You gonna make some DLC? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Turns out we don't like money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We already have bucket loads of money. Why would we want more? That's not how capital works. More cash? Works. No thanks. Um, <laughs> we have yeah, enough, guys. Back it off and share some for the rest of everybody yeah. else. So I think I'm probably gonna jump back into Horizon. Pretty. Soon. I keep saying that. I think I've been saying that for the past month. And it yeah, hasn't happened yeah. yet, but I really do want to do that because uh, I think it is a bit of a shame. I mean, that happened last time they released Horizon. It got yeah, overshadowed. Yeah, against Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, overshadowed by Breath of the Wild. And then literally, basically, like, the Breath of the Wild of Souls games happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. two of the greatest games of all time. That is, got to, uh, that's got to sting a bit. So I yeah. kept having into those uh, uh to Titanfall too. I remember yeah. Titanfall one was like up against something huge and then Titanfall. Dude, two Call of Duty and Battlefield kind of. all the time. It's like because they keep dropping around yeah. the same exact time. Yep. Yeah. Uh but yeah. I I, I think personally that's... I thought that um that showcase was awesome because um I was like, I'm probably gonna check out ninety percent of these games because it's gonna be on it on Game Pass. So I don't yeah, have to feel I've, like I have to commit yeah. to purchasing one of these, you know? Yeah, I put out a, a list and it was like Redfall, Scorn, Flintlock, Case of Benedict Fox, Ravenlock, Wolong, mm -hmm. um, so Song, Erebon. Erebon looked pretty oh, yeah. cool too. Mm -hmm. um, Starfield and then the Rick and Morty game, High yep. on Life. There, So that's like a pretty big list for the next 12 months of games that I'm like, yeah, I'm interested in checking all of those out. Yeah. Yeah. If I didn't have Game Pass, I'd be a lot more choosy. But, uh, yeah, not to sound like an ad for Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean it's been, a good value. <laughs> you haven't really been able to get much out of it recently. True. Uh, but the mm -hmm. next 12 months is definitely time to come back. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you're, if you did drop 
and then like or maybe drop it until like six months from now exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> pick up a, subs- a subscription sometime after that then you're gonna have tons of games Yo. to check out after that when a game uh, you want to play comes out yeah yeah is that the is that the show they'll let you they'll let you back oh in. the big news about riot oh, right. Riot games with xbox which is like ah okay um, so they are bringing their games to console eventually, but this was like a, um, if you have Game Pass, you get all of the champions unlocked in League of Legends. Oh, Valorant, yeah. Oh, wow. Valorant. So, so yes, these games are free, so you're not like getting the game on Game Pass, but you think of League of Legends, it's got 160 champions. For someone just coming into the game for the first time, it's going to be a long time until you unlock all of them for free. Mm-hmm. So if you have a champion that you want to play, you're probably going to have to end up dropping some money if you're, you know, you're experimenting, you're trying different things, trying to figure out what you like. Whereas this is, you get it all for free with Game Pass. Hmm. It's I'm, okay. I was hoping what? that when I saw their name come up on the screen, that they were going to show off their fighting game that they've been working on. Yeah. Hmm. I was really hoping that next year. Yeah, I didn't see it. Looks cool. I saw like a card game I don't care about, and like League of Legends. Look, I've never played it. I'm sure it's great. It seems Seems mildly popular. I don't know. <laughs> mildly popular. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Watts, can you explain? So uh, they're, they're connecting the Game Pass to like the League of Legends in player installer type yeah, of thing? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know how it's going to work. Like, I assume you have to pay through, play through Game Pass. Okay. So I don't really know how that's going to work. I don't know if they put out an article that goes into detail about how it's going to work. Because Riot has their own launcher that has all the games in it. And then you launch, yeah, whichever game you want to play from Mm -hmm. there. Uh, So I'm not sure. And they're going to bring League to console then also? Apparently they'll connect your Riot account to your Xbox account. Ah, So maybe they'll just know that you have it. So they'll know. Interesting. Which will be better. (laughs) Yeah, launching sure. it through Game Pass. Definitely, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm unaware. I didn't really pay attention because I'm also just like peripheral when it comes to league stuff. So I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. But um, yeah, that's interesting that you get to have access to all those characters. I think that's a good value. Yeah, right. It it really is because it it would probably take you years to unlock everyone purely for free. Mm-hmm. It's 160, <laughs> and like you you do get that's a lot in, of characters. You do get in game <laughs> currency, but. You know, you're not going to be able to unlock 160 characters yeah. within like your first even year of playing, probably. Do they say um, if this is like they're doing this for a time period or something? Like, oh, we're gonna for this year. You know, you know how like some things leave the Game Pass. So. I wonder if uh, yeah. if Riot is testing things out and then because I could imagine someone playing and getting used to some characters, and then suddenly the Game Pass leaves. <laughs> they're like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> gotta spend money on this now. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. They have to support a game they appreciate playing, but just curious. Yeah. Yeah, no idea. We'll hmm. see what ends up happening. But it's definitely interesting to be able to have every character in all of, in Valorant as well. So. Yeah. True. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, cool. Um, anything else then from the, the conferences? I think that's really it. I'm going to check out some demos this week. Yeah and hopefully there's some hidden gems in there i'll be sitting at my door waiting for the uh steam deck to arrive That's you can play the demos week. on your steam I'm gonna deck sitting, i'm gonna be sitting at your door waiting for the steam deck to arrive over the door briar what are you doing here <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing never mind me go about your day <laughs> uh, all right well that is uh that's side quest episode number 143 Thank you very yeah. much for tuning in and hanging out. We appreciate it. Uh, shout out to our Patreon members and our Twitch subs for supporting the shows here on DCP. And um, looking forward to stuff. More stuff, right? Yeah. We've got some games coming out soon that I'm interested in. So yeah. I'm excited. Cool. All right. See you All later, right. guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.